Hello, my name is Martin Tugwell, President of CIHT. I hope that you're safe and well, and I'm delighted to welcome you to this award ceremony that will reveal the winners of the CIHT Awards 2020. The announcement of the CIHT Award shortlisted entry on winners well, is one of the highlights of the year, but like so much else this year, we've had to find a different way of doing it. The response to the 2020 awards has been amazing, with a third more entries than ever before from the UK and around the world spread across 11 categories. Over 600 people from our sector have contributed to developing those entries, which have then been judged by some of our most expert members to produce the shortlist from which the winners will be announced shortly. The excellence of the content in those shortlisted entries, all submitted before the impact of COVID-19 became clear, well, it's a fantastic basis on which to celebrate who we are, what we can achieve, and how we are safeguarding the future of our sector. Hopefully you've had a chance to watch the webcasts that have highlighted the shortlisted entries. And this year we've grouped the categories into three themes which we feel represents what our sector is about. Supporting those that work for us. How the sector is using innovation continuously to improve what we do. And of course, the environmental challenges we face and the unanticipated positive impacts on our carbon footprint, well, that's not gone unnoticed either. As a sector, we've come together to learn, adapt and change for the good of all. And that's represented by our final theme, shaping the future. It's great to be celebrating this year's awards on International Women in Engineering Day. CIHT is an inclusive organisation who is working to encourage more women and people from all backgrounds into the industry. And it's been a great to see the diversity of our sector represented in the shortlisted entries that we've highlighted over the last two weeks. On behalf of CIHT, I'd like to thank all of those people involved in the entries, the companies that have helped us by supporting these awards, those organisations that have entered, and of course, our volunteer members who've judged the entries. To be shortlisted for the awards this year is a feat in itself. And CIHT members will be able to have access to the full information on each of the shortlisted entries, shortlisted entries by web links on the CIHT members website. Today, we're pleased to announce the commended, highly commended and winning entries for each of the categories. We will also announce the winner of our overall uh, award, the one that our judges feels best represents the entrant that captured the essence of CIHT in 2020. On behalf of CIHT, good luck to all of those shortlisted entries and enjoy the rest of the award ceremony. Thank you again to our sector champions, Ringway, Kia, Autodesk, Fosrock, Amy and City Science for supporting the awards. You can access thought leadership and content from our supporters on the CIHT Awards website. As president of CIHT, I would now like to announce the winner of the first category, which is for CIHT Transportation Professional of the Year 2020. And this goes to a person who, in the opinion of judges, has demonstrated the values of this institution while contributing to the sector over the last year. I'm delighted to announce that this year's award goes to Mark Stevens of Suffolk County Council. Mark has been a visible presence in the local highways world for some time and has always demonstrated the values of the CIHT. Professional, inclusive, collaborative and progressive. The judges highlighted his work in, se in several key areas this year, assisting in the development of CIHT's local highways review, helping in the development of the Highway Sector Council, and working closely with government to develop an approach to the COVID-19 situation for the sector. It's my absolute pleasure to award this to Mark Stevens. Congratulations, Mark, and now on to the announcements of the other awards.
Congratulations to all the winners and nominated entries for this year's awards. The winners for all our themes are as follows. In the Supporting One Another theme, the CIHT Autodesk Collaboration Award goes to the new collaborative contractual arrangements for Gloucestershire Highways, submitted by Ringway Infrastructure Services Limited, Atkins and Gloucestershire County Council. The Employer of the Year Award goes to A Caring Culture Conquers All, submitted by the WJ Group. Team of the Year goes to the Transport Scotland Build Team, submitted by Transport Scotland. And the Transportation Professional of the Year is awarded to Mark Stevens of Suffolk Highways. In the innovation theme, the CHT Kia Road Safety Award is awarded to Ride Free, which was submitted by Agilisys and Highways England. The CHT Fosrock Engineering Award is awarded to Carpenters Land Bridge, submitted by Graham. The CHT Amy Innovation of the Year Award is awarded to the Robotic Age Dawns for the Road Marking Sector, the WJ Robotic Premarker, submitted by WJ Group. And the International Project Award this year goes to Doha Metro, submitted by Qatar Rail. In Shaping the Future theme, the City Science CIHT Healthy Transport Award goes to Mini Holland's programme, submitted by Transport for London. The CHT Ringway Climate Change Award is awarded to the state-of-the-art thin surfacing course trials on the strategic road network, submitted by Connect Plus Services. The Transport Planning Award is awarded to the Transport for the North Strategic Transport Plan, submitted by Transport for the North. And the Creating Better Places Award is awarded to Highbury Corner, London, which was submitted by the London Highways Alliance. Hello everyone. It's my pleasure to draw this year's award ceremony to a close by announcing the overall winner of the CIHT Awards 2020 which is drawn from amongst the brilliant entries you've seen. 2020 so far has been a very different year for all of us. And as our president Martin has described, we've all had to find new ways of doing things. It's appropriate on International Women in Engineering Day that the fantastic entries you've heard about in our webinars and our extensive digital content this year highlight the vast range of knowledge and skills across our increasingly diverse sector. I am proud that CIHT is an inclusive organisation, working to encourage women and people from all backgrounds into the sector. This year's overall winner is an entry that used engineering knowledge and expertise to produce a creative and innovative solution and can provide a model for others to follow. The entry described how the exceptional engineering solution created access to an important regeneration scheme in a way that reduced disruption to a minimum and enabled significant benefits to be realised for the local community and business. I'm delighted to announce the overall winner this year is Carpenters Landbridge from Graham. Many congratulations. Thank you again to our sector champions, Ringway, Kia, Autodesk, Fosrock, Amy and City Science for supporting the awards. You can access thought leadership and content from our supporters on the CIHT awards website.